The Penticton Bees made the most of their only home game of January, winning 5-3 over the Couch and Valley Capitals Saturday night in front of over 3,600 fans at the SOEC. But early on, the Bees were being stymied by the goaltending of McCoy, Bidewell, the Couch and Valley Capitals, and not to be outdone, Hank Levy, he was sharp as well in the crease. More on him later. The Bees do open up the scoring. It's the Nadeau brothers striking early. Josh from brother Bradley, five minutes in. Great play by Brad to... Tracked on the puck behind the net, shake off the defender, and Josh Nadeau, one-timer in front, makes no mistake. That was goal number 24 on the year for Josh. You see it from behind the net. He's not going to miss from there. And that was a deadly shot on the stick side. That made it one nothing as the Nadeau brothers teamed up there to give the Vs a lead, and Penticton was looking for more. Ider Suniev almost had a great attempt down the right wing, but Bidewell was there to kick it out. Vs did add to the lead in that first period. Great tip by Spencer Smith in front. First of two points the night for him. That coming just before the eight-minute mark. You can see Ryan Hopkins make the great play on the wall and reaching out and just tipping it in below the shoulder height was Spencer Smith for seventh of the year to make it 2 nothing for the V's at the 757 mark. Penticton was pressing for most of that first period, but McCoy Bidewell was excellent. Big save there off Dovar Tinley to keep it 2-0. And then off Jackson Neuendijk with the pad, stretching out that leg right there to keep the puck out. He was excellent as he faced 50 shots on the night. The Caps did get on the board late in that first period with just 45 seconds left. What a play here by Cole Malady, his 10th of the year down the right wing, makes a nice move to the goal line, gets his own rebound and buries past Levy with just 45 seconds left in the first. And that made it a 2-1 game. Early in the second, the Vs were right back at it. Look at this old school hockey by Nick DeGraves. No bucket, no problem. Wraparound goal, just 74 seconds into the period for number 74 as he gets goal number three on the wraparound try. Second effort, jams it in at 114. How fitting, number 74, scoring 74 seconds into the period to make it a 3-1 Vs lead early in the second. But those pesky caps kept coming, and they score in a power play. Luke Uring tips in the point shot at 213 in front. You can see it from behind the net. Just got a piece for his fifth goal this season. His first is a couch in Valley Capital, and that made it a 3-2 game. It was a back and forth second period. Some great goaltending by Levy here off Ethan Decay to keep it a 3-2 game, and then Bradley Nadeau took over. For Bradley right. Goal line scores! What a shot! It's reversed by what a Curry. shot there. Bradley Nadeau the finds the puck behind the net, comes off the goal line, and goes upstairs from a tight angle at 17.32, his 29th of the year. Watch this shot. That's why NHL scouts have him circled in red ink. Over the glove side of Bidewell. Goal number 29 from brother Josh and Dovar Tinley. That made it 4-2. And Bradley had some tricks up his sleeves. Almost had the lacrosse style goal going in the second. But the Caps made some noise early in the third. Just 11 seconds. The ice still wet in the third. It's Logan Camp scoring over the glove side of Levy in the opening shift. And all of a sudden, it's a 4-3 game in a blink of an eye. The V's feeling a little bit nervous, but they kept coming. Spencer Smith buzzing around the net all night long. Was stopped by Bidewell. Then the captain makes a great play in the power play. A huge insurance marker by Brett Morvick at 3-12 from Jurisevich and Smith for his 19th goal of the year to make it 5-3. Look at this angle. Great pass by Jurisevich driving down the corner to go back in front for Morvick who camped out at the back post. One more look at that goal as Morvick scoring in bunches since December. Picks up his ninth into the year. A huge insurance marker that make it 5-3 for the Vs. Levy had some strong goaltending late as well. Big stop there at the pad. Also Bradley to Doe diving at a puck against Bidwell, trying to get something going, but he was stopped against the post, trying to find his second goal tonight. Both goalies were very sharp on this night. One nice little save here towards the end of the game. Levy, a big glove stop off Quinn Disher with time expiring as he picks up win number 10. V's get win number 32 in front of 3,600 fans of the SOEC. What a way to win your only home game in January. 5-3 the final. The highlights sponsored by the Pinto. Ticked in Herald.